Hi, this is Monica, and welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. Today's video is a series of I don't know how many videos of me cleaning up and reorganizing my beauty room. Your beauty room is a personal thing to you. And you're supposed to have everything in order. You're supposed to have the things that you need. And especially if you do makeup like I do. I buy makeup constantly. So like, comment, and subscribe. And this series is my foundations and what, which ones I like. So get ready because it's a bunch. But I'm not getting ready to talk about each and every one. I'm going to talk about some particular ones that I like. I'm going to tell the truth about some of the other ones that I'm kind of questionable about. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to get to this video. Okay, first off, a foundation is never supposed to be matched from your neck to your face. It's never supposed to be matched like that. You have to match a foundation to your chest. The reason why is because... Your chest and your face should be the same color. If your chest is a little darker, then you match, you match that foundation and you put it on and you be an even tone. You don't want to be running around here looking like a, a stop sign or a stoplight. You don't want to do that. Red, yellow, green. You don't want to do that. So you have to pay attention to your foundation. Foundation is everything. So what I've done is I took these makeup wipes that I have here that I got for Family Dollar. We talked about this earlier last month or so. But I always overbuy these. The reason why I overbuy these is because I use these to clean my makeup palettes and my eyeshadows and my foundation and everything. So we're not going to talk too much about that. So we're going to get to this because I figure like because YouTube has been like on me and on my mind and I'm always thinking about it and content and I need to get it out and what time I need to get it out and I'm paying attention. YouTube is supposed to be for me. YouTube is supposed to be for me. So I'm gonna slow everything down. I'm gonna take it back to where it was when I just had so many subscribers and I only have 15 minutes. So we're just gonna get through this and we're gonna gently move forward. So, today is me organizing my foundation. I don't have uh, like three, four thousand drawers of foundation. I only have two, but I have a bunch. And the ones that I bought, I actually studied, looked into, seen the cost, seen what some of the reviews was, went on some of my favorite YouTube um, influencers. And I went and I checked out the foundation because I do pay attention to what they say. So. The first drawer, I'm gonna show you. I organized these and I already cleaned them, so you have to forgive me. I'm not doing all that on there. And this is the first drawer. And as you can see, looking really close, I have, this is just the first drawer. So the first foundations I wanna talk about is the Juvia's Place a Magic Foundation, which is, looks like this. I have two. Uh, the smart thing is to buy two, one in your summer shade and one in your winter shade. And so you can mix them and get your perfect shade. So I have the colors um, Legos and Tanzania, and they look like this. And these were $20 at Ulta because Sephora doesn't sell um, Juvia's Place products. Why don't Sephora sell Juvia's Place foundations and stuff? I don't know. That's out of my scope of practice, we're gonna move on. Okay, I like that foundation because you only need less than this much, and that's too much because it spreads so thick and it spreads so evenly. Get the foundation, be very cautious, don't use a whole lot, or you don't like clown. Don't use it. Okay, the, another foundation that I absolutely love that's in this drawer is the Too Faced Born This Way foundations, the ones that Jackie Arnold curated and the ones that was beforehand. And they look like this, and I have three of those. And you can clearly see the difference. You can clearly see the difference. And this one right here, this one is Chai, and this is Jackie Arnold's color. And it's a little light because I'm a little dark because it's hot, it's outside, and we're not getting a break from this heat wave, but you know what I'm talking about, the weather, that's what we talk about, but anyway. This is Jackie Honest Born This Way 
foundation. This is Chai F3. And this is Spice Rum. Spice Rum is a little closer to my skin tone right now, but um, I will mix the two to get my perfect shade, so. And this one is Hazelnut. Now this has a red undertone. The reason why I got this in the red is because I can always use this chai and even the color out. See that? And the middle color would be this other one, which is Spice Rum, so we'll talk about that later. Y'all need to get this foundation. Very good. The next set of foundation that I absolutely love from a drugstore, this is the Wet n Wild. Hold on, what is this? This is the Wet n Wild um, foundation. It's called the um, Photo Focus Foundation. It's in mahogany. And I have another one that's an espresso. And I bought my darker shade and my lighter shade. Absolutely love these foundations. These are drugstore. This wet and wild one, I think is like less than $7. Absolutely love it. Go and get it. This is a good foundation to use. Very good. Okay, the next foundation that I have in this drawer that I absolutely love is this Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. And it looks like this. This I bought from Walgreens. And I absolutely love this foundation. You just you need a little bit on a dark sponge that is soaking your skin. Very good. Prime really good with this one. But don't use a drying cup. Primer. Use something that's pore filling or whatever. But I absolutely love that. Now, I also love this NYX. A NYX you can buy in Ulta only, I believe. I think you can get it in Ulta, but some people can get it at TJ Maxx and stuff like this. In Ohio, I have yet to see it because what part of the problem is I don't go to TJ Maxx. I just don't. And this is the NYX Total Control. I absolutely love this. But you have to put it with a little thicker primer because it is watery. So I love that one. Now, I'm going to get to some of these. And these are the ones I'm going to talk about now. It's like, uh-uh, mm-mm. I kind of, mm-mm. Not those. Not this set right here, which is the Fit Me um, Foundation 360. It's the poor, um, this is my pore list, and it looks like this. You get these at Family Dollar for less than $6. Absolutely love this foundation. Very, very good foundation. And normally I would mix this with the 360 and the Luminous. Same color, I mean, same company, same color, different texture, different colors. Absolutely love this. You need to get this. A Maybelline, listen, the Maybelline, this, this launch, absolutely love it. So we'll talk about that later. Okay, and let me see. Um, let's move on to the second drawer. Now, in this second drawer, these foundations is foundations that's mainly more prestige. And it looks like that. And I already wiped them off and I organized them. But we're going to talk about these real quick because I don't want to be on here too long because I've already been at work. And I got to clean up this room because it's really, really dirty. And my stuff was spread all over the place. And I just went straight back to the hood with this crap. So I have to apologize for that. So I really have to apologize to myself because I let myself down. Because I never do stuff like this. So at the end of the day, we're just going to move forward. And we're just going to continue on with our quest to uh, conquer uh, YouTube. So, okay. So this foundation here. Girl. This foundation. I was so happy about this foundation right here. This is the Fenty um, Full. What is this? Damn shit. Pro filter, and it's in the color. It's a soft matte, and it's in the color 420. And it looks like this. Mm -mm. This right here is. Mm -mm. I should pull this one out because I went back and I got it in the. No, this is the wrong one. Jesus fix it. And I got it in the... Don't pay no attention. It was an accident. I got this one. And this is not the Pro Filter. This is the... This is the Pro Filter. This is the 420. But this is the luminous kind. It looks like this. See? And they're the same color. This one may be a little darker. But... I use these to mix with another foundation. 
to bring out a, a different color. No. No. Mm-mm. We ain't gonna just one seven dresses. I don't want no shit. Okay, Riri. Listen, Auntie know that you did a good job with this foundation child. But it's no I I, I when we talk about it, I'll call you. Okay. Okay, so the next set of foundation that I absolutely love is going to be my NARS. These are the NARS foundations. So they're different colors. The first one is what color is this? Is I can't pronounce that. Maceo, and this one is um, what color is this? I don't know what the hell. It's this one. These are so good. NARS have beautiful, beautiful foundation. This is a must have. Please go, if you don't do anything, go get a sample. Go get a sample of these foundations. And I'm telling you, it's going to change your whole life. It's going to change your life. It's going to feel some type of way. You're going to not be able to stop getting in the mirror and looking at your damn self because I do it. And this right here, this is also by NARS. This is one of my favorite. Let me put this back. This is one of my favorite foundations. I very seldom grab this one because I want to save it. This is the NARS New Caledonia. Look at that foundation. It has just the amount of yellow in it and just the amount of dark. It is absolutely a beautiful finish. This right here is a must have. Don't be afraid to get a sample. Get a sample. See if that's what you you aim for, a sample. Get a sample, match your color, and then go from there. Absolutely love that foundation. Absolutely. Now, I am really good at doing two things. Match your foundation and mixing it. So, I was watching um, one of my favorite um, girls on, um, on YouTube, and she was trying out this foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation and this is in the color 490 warm and it looks like this now it's too light for me so what i will do is to take a darker foundation mix it with this probably a matte foundation because this is luminous and i don't like luminous foundation and i will mix it with this and get my perfect texture and my perfect color so i went and bought this and it's still up for debate i'm not you know i'm not Mm -mm. I'm not going to say ride and go get it. No, I'm not. What well, I'm going to say is try it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if it's any of these foundations that you tried. And if you liked them, if you didn't, just let me know. Okay, and so we're going to go and move on to these two. And this is the Clinique Even Better. And it looks like this. And it's in the color Amber. Is this bamboo clove? This is the color clove. It looks like this. I absolutely love this foundation. I absolutely, mm -mm -mm. I absolutely love this foundation. Absolutely great. You need to try this foundation. This is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. It looks like this. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Lord have mercy. I love this foundation. And this is in 28 clove. It looks like this. And it absolutely, the, the light is not doing any justice. I'm going to block it off so you can actually see the real color. See that? Oh, my God. I love this foundation. Absolutely, absolutely good. And um, when I say I go get some samples, the samples that I got from um, Ulta was the Cat Von D. I told you about that. The Stay Naked in ADW Warm. And I got the Urban Decay y522 and it looks like this this is what it back comes in i haven't used it yet so i'm gonna try those out because i like foundation i like semi full coverage i like it to look like skin i don't like it to look like and please ladies pull your foundation down on your your neck and bring it all the way in and on your ears and stuff like this you don't want to be pull your hair back and your ears look like a different like they belong on another person don't do that 2020 Corona took over everybody's life. Please don't. I met girl. Build your foundation here. Okay, so the next foundation that I absolutely love. And I absolutely love this one. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect 
um, Comfort Mat Foundation, and this is in the color Toffee. Let me tell you about this foundation here. This foundation right here, I had questioned it. Like, oh my God, I don't know if I want to like it, but you know what I'm saying? I studied and studied and studied and looked at it and looked at it. So it's so it's so And this is the color that I came with. Toffee. Absolutely a beautiful foundation. Oh my God. And it looks like, let me go over here. And it looks like this. If Donald Trump sends us some stimulus money, go get this. Just to, just man, you yeah. thank me later. Okay, the next set of foundation. Now, the next foundation is this. This is the Dior foundation. Look at that. The packaging is okay, but this is in the color. What color is this shit? This is the Dior backstage six in six neutral. And it looks like this, and it's almost my damn perfect shade. And it is my perfect shade. And it looks like this. I don't use this as often because this is one of those more expensive prestige uh, brands that make up that I absolutely love. Okay, so we're getting towards the end, so just stay with me. Okay, this makeup I showed you on Saturday, on Sunday morning. And this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And it looks like this, which is absolutely, see what I did? I got a darker one and I got a lighter one. The reason why I got these two is in between here is my shade. So I bought these both and they're in the color, what color is this crap? I don't know, I'm not getting ready to do all that. I'm just trying to make this video with this foundation so I can clean up this damn room for somebody called a and &E and tell hoarders that I'm loose. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, so the next foundation is this little. Uh, I think this is called the, what the hell is this called? This is the Coca. This is the Huda. And this one is Nutmeg. And this is what this looks like. This is what these look like. Let me tell y'all about this foundation here. And let me see if you get the true color. Now you see it. This one has more of a gold undertone than this one. This one is kind of like semi. But, okay, the reason why I bought two of these is because I thought I was smart. So fuck it. I really like this foundation. Smell like somebody's damn grease granny or hosey patty. That's what it smells like. I ain't gonna lie. I'll tell you that this foundation. Don't use a lot of this because if you can't stand that smell of this foundation, girl, you mm -mm, you'll throw up. If you drink it, you're gonna throw up because this, you know, because I like the foundation. It's super matte. Use a hydrating primer, full coverage. It is the bomb. It is the, it's the bomb. Okay, so the next foundation I want to talk about. I only got a couple more. We're going to talk about. We're going to leave it long because I got to go to bed. I got to work in the morning. This is the Milk Stick. And it's in the color, what color is this crap? I don't know what color this crap is. But anywho, it looks like this. Look at that. Perfect color, but listen what this stuff do. It's stiff, so I don't want to be having to dig and pull your foundation, pull your concealer and your primers off. And so I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. But this is a pretty color, I absolutely love it. Thank you, Jackiana, because you recommended me to this one. Absolutely love it. This is the Mac. Um, what the hell is this shit? Studio Fix and NC NW NW45. It looks like this. The reason why I have it that many this is because I absolutely love MAC makeup, but they make it. I absolutely love it, but I'm not going to go back again. No, I'm not. And this looks like this. But see, it has enough in there. Or I take it and loose a little bit. It's thick as shit. It's like paste. It looks like flour water. So we're not going to talk about that. Okay, so we're wrapping this up. And this, my dear. Besides the lead cone tint you doll. Let's talk about that. The, mm, mm, mm. These are my top four right here. This is the lead cone tint you doll, and it looks like this. And this foundation here, unless it, I'm going to go see Michelle and Barack Obama, I'm not going to use it as often. Why? 
because this foundation is absolutely worth every penny. This foundation is, I got my, my winter shade, I got my summer shade, and right now I got my in-between. If I mix them together, it's my in-between shade. Absolutely love it. Absolutely. Get this foundation, child. And then call me later to talk about it. Okay, and last but not least is the best foundation ever made in 2020 with Corona, 2019, the beginning of Corona, is this Stay Naked by Urban Decay. The best foundation ever. Full coverage. It's transfer proof. S looks like a filter effect. Absolutely love this foundation. And I have them in the color 80NN and 71WY. Absolutely the best foundation. I'm not grabbing for this because that's what we're not going to do. Because this right here is the best foundation ever. I have tried a lot. This one right here is worth the pretty penny. Now, these two is right up there with that uh, Urban Decay. And these are the Becca. These are Becca Ultimate Coverage. It's a matte foundation. They look like this. These I don't reach for. So, ladies, I think I did this not only just to clean up and start straightening my room back, but just to get my life back in order. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I, I really and truly miss y'all. And I need for y'all to understand that I am new at this. So, I'm going to try my best to make this work. So, 